is time to settle some of the biggest and most important debates of all time. But I'm going to need some help. Season three of his show, Afterlife, is available now on Netflix. Please welcome the one, the only, Ricky Gervais. Wow. Wow, one of my favorite. Ricky. Ricky, it's nice to see you. Are you ready to do this? What is it this time? Yeah. You don't like playing the games on our show as much. The pressure's on, isn't it? <laughs> no, no pressure. This game, you're going to love one. This one's <laughs> called Ricky Gervais Settles It. You're the only person that can play this. <laughs> we put your name in the title of the game, yeah. Yeah, right. it's great. I love that. All right, so here we go. First up, ready? Should you, should you take videos during concerts? No, just watch the... You've gone to see something live. Watch it live. Exactly right. Good man. <laughs> uh, oh, my goodness. Who is the best James Bond? Uh, well, my first thought was um, Sean Connery. Uh, yeah. I don't, I'm not a big fan of Bond. I've only watched a couple. I like Sean Connery, because uh, I don't know why. I liked him in The Rock as well. Yeah, I, I, it's all that putting on suits and... Dry Martin. I don't look good in the suit. I, I don't aspire to be. I look. I look rubbish in everything. So, you know, I, I like him in a tracksuit and stained <laughs> t-shirt or something. Um, so um, you, can't relate think, to James I, you can't relate to James Bond. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. No. But, uh, uh, next question: Text or call? Depends. Right. Or how about like those uh, audio uh, texts? No, I can't. No, because I. I'll leave it on, and then I'll start slagging the person off, and I and they 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 just get a message of me going, oh, he's a f idiot. I, 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 every, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm too very nervous. Around. I'm very nervous about this and and microphones and stuff. That I just <laughs> Maybe text, text is safer, I suppose. Uh, uh, Ricky, what is scarier, space or the ocean? Well, it depends. <laughs> if you if you're in a boat. Space would be a lot scary, wouldn't it? <laughs> Whereas, <laughs> if, you, if you have a gentle row, yeah. then that, uh, space would be really That's scary. <laughs> if you're shooting through space at 500 miles a second with no oxygen, then uh, um, yeah, space. I scary. think space in general is a bit scary because it's yeah, it's like you know miles and miles of nothingness, isn't it? At least with the ocean, you think you might see a lighthouse or. <laughs> or a dolphin might save you. <laughs> but, like, you know what I mean? You never know. You, yeah, yeah, you, flipper might come along. <laughs> yes, but what, flipper. If you, what if you're waiting for Flipper and it, it goes long and you go, <coughs> and you go, brilliant, save me. But you've, you've met the one mean dolphin. You've met, like, the, the Charles Manson of dolphins. And he just goes, no, you've picked the wrong dolphin, buddy. Uh, I think space is scarier. All right, well, with not, not with those types of dolphins. Uh, all right, ready for this? Uh, who is the best Beatle? Well, I'm going to say one of the ones that are alive in case they're watching. <laughs> well, this is, you can be honest with me. Well, I'm not Paul McCartney. I, I, I saw that, um, that documentary and he, he seemed to be sort of running the show. Um, yeah. So, uh, I mean, listen, they're, they're all great, but... Uh, um, yeah. yeah, Paul McCartney, because he did the frog song. I like that frog song he did. <laughs> yeah, I love that song, too. Yeah, I like that song. <laughs> I know exactly what I have. Um, uh, all right, uh, if you had to be a cannibal, who would you eat? Um, well, I'm vegan, so it's even worse for me. <laughs> so I'd... Oh, my God. That's... Oh, my God. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't... Why not Paul McCartney? He's vegan. What's, well, that doesn't make any difference if you eat someone who's vegan. You're still eating meat, aren't you? If you eat a cow, that doesn't make you vegan because you're eating an animal that's so vegan. So you wouldn't eat Paul McCartney, even if you had the chance? Well, I'd rather not eat anyone. I, as I say... I, I can't believe uh, it. Paul, he's a legend. He's one of the best... He's the best performers of all time. I love time. that. Beetle, is that... You would step over that. his body. That's how you pay tribute to your, your heroes, is it? Yeah. You go, oh, you're so good. You're so good, I could eat a finger. <laughs> I could chew... <laughs> Where would you start? Where would you start? I don't know. If you uh, had to be... I, 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 that's how I want to go, I think. I just want to be fed to the lions <laughs> in London Zoo, just thrown in naked when I'm dead, and, and then just watch people go, is that the blood from the office? It's just <laughs> being eaten by lions. Uh, uh, last one, last question. Uh, British or American office? Uh, well, 
I thought the British office was the best, but my accountant assures me that it's the American. <laughs> That's the exact answer. You heard it here first. My thanks to Ricky Gervais. We're talking to Ricky Moore after the break. Stick around. Hey, hey, hey.